I've previously discussed several Casper films and I've got back into watching and reviewing the cartoons and it was requested that I review Casper, A Spirited Beginning. And I was really keen to do this for two reasons. One, I just love Casper. And two, I couldn't remember if I'd seen this before. And when I started watching it, quite a bit came back to me. But at the same time, I can't remember when I saw this. I genuinely don't know if they are memories from my childhood or memories from, let's say, the last, I don't know, five years or something, because they were quite strong memories. But either way, the film must be pretty memorable. This was released in 1997. It's directed by Sean McNamara and written by Jim Megan and Thomas Hart. And it's actually a prequel to the very brilliant 1995 film. And I have to say, as far as prequels go, it's pretty good. Casper falls off of the ghost train and he ends up in this town and obviously a lot of people are very scared of the ghost and then he meets a, a young boy called Chris played by Brendan Ryan Barrett and Chris isn't scared of him and in fact Chris really appreciates Casper because he's quite lonely his father is wrapped up in his work and his work is maybe not making not not everybody is happy with what he is doing put it that way i won't go into too much detail but his work does also involve protests from chris's teacher miss uh fistergraph played by the wonderful laurie lachlan and what i will say is while i remembered bits of this i don't think i'd seen it after i'd fallen in love with laurie lachlan so i would have watched it pre full house and i watched full house in, I think, 2020. So definitely before then, whenever I saw it, I think it was at least about three or four, maybe five years ago. And it was just wonderful for Laurie Lachlan to be in this. We also have Steve Guttenberg playing Tim, Chris's somewhat absent father. And Casper is voiced by Jeremy Foley. We also have a great supporting voice cast. We have James Earl Jones, and we've got Bill Farmer, Jess Hernell, uh, James Ward, uh, the last three there as Fatso, Stinky and Stretch. And I have to say, I really thoroughly enjoyed this. It's all about Chris helping Casper to become the type of ghost he wants to be while helping Chris in his current situation with his absent father. And his teacher has some involvement there as well. So she's got a really great role to play and kind of ties everything together really nicely and I really thoroughly enjoyed the narrative as for the special effects they're actually they're really good I mean they're really good for 1997 but I I was pretty impressed Casper looks the way I like him to look and the other ghostly characters all looked great as well so really good narrative really good animated aspect the cast is obviously brilliant the performances are really good it gets quite ridiculous in certain points maybe a little bit unrealistic and I don't mean with the ghost aspect I mean maybe some things that happen with the narrative not tremendously so but certainly it's one of those films where you know in children's films things just maybe become a little bit over the top and a little bit unrealistic but it's absolutely fine now I call it a children's film it's really a family a family film and I do think that there's something in this for people of all ages. Would you like this if you've never seen anything with Casper before? It's a question I can't answer because I have seen a lot of Casper, but I would love to know if you have never watched anything with Casper or you don't particularly hold Casper in high regard. I'd love to know what you think of this. Certainly, well, understandably, you don't need to have seen the first film to watch this prequel, but if you are going to watch them, I would recommend watching them in order of release rather than chronological from Casper's perspective um, but either way if you choose to watch Casper's Spirited Beginning I think you'll really like it the live action parts are brilliant the aspect with Casper is great and I just love one of my favorite things about Casper is when he blends in with a background or molds himself into a different shape there's one bit in this where he um becomes like a, I can't remember if he came like a doorbell or something. It's the scene where the teacher is at, at, at the front door and Casper like blends in with the background. And I just, I just love it. And that bit for me was very nostalgic. That bit really stood out in my memory. And I, I just want to know if I've watched this relatively recently or if it's childhood, 
if it's a childhood memory that's coming back, I'm really not sure. I know I watched the 1995 one as a child. I had the VHS of that. I don't remember ever having the VHS of this one, but it doesn't mean I haven't seen it. So maybe one day I'll I'll establish that. But for now, I'm happy to have rewatched Casper's Spirited Beginning. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And if you're a fan of Casper, I definitely recommend it.